There's some speculation that Battlefront 2 might go free to play. And there is the possibility of it. Now this was because of a investor's call and discussion with investors as to EA's plans for the future. And one of the plans was for, well one, they want a battle royale game and like Fortnite, they want to capture that sort of success in a bottle. And also they're looking at something free to play and something FPS. And this has sparked a lot of debate as to whether they may decide to take Battlefront 2 free to play. At this point, I think it would be a wise choice to take Battlefront 2 in that direction. I think I think it would be a good choice. I know some people who've purchased a game, who paid $60 for it, they don't like the idea. There are games that you had to buy originally that have gone free to play in the past. So this wouldn't be a huge stretch. The huge, huge stretch wouldn't be a big difference. So should they go free to play after everything that's happened? Well, from my understanding, the game is losing players, especially on the PC side. There, there's a few more on the console end, but on the PC side, there's not as many players. And I think that EA would get more people playing the game if they went free to play, if they made it available. And I think also they need to get Battlefront 2 off of Origin and onto other platforms like Steam. They need to get it off Origin. There are a lot of people who won't touch Origin. And making it free to play, getting it off Origin and putting it on other platforms like Steam, GOG possibly, which I very much doubt they would ever do that, but getting it on other platforms on PC would bring in players and making it free to play would bring in more players. I think it's a good idea. Now, I'm not saying that it is going to go that way, but that is a direction that people have been debating recently at the game that they were talking about in this investor's call may be Battlefront 2. And with all the controversy with the whole thing with the loot boxes going on with the game and with that subsiding finally and with some updates coming out, uh, the fact that it's a $60 game with microtransactions in it, it makes sense if they went to a free-to-play option, had a premium option with some, with some bonuses, and just sold, you know, just cosmetic items to bring in the money. It, that works for Epic with Fortnite. So it, it would work for EA. I mean, would they turn Battlefront into a Battle Royale game? I mean, a, a bounty hunter Battle Royale mode set in the Star Wars universe? Mm. I know that, that the genre has been played out a lot. There's a lot of games in that genre coming out. I mean, PUBG wasn't the first Battle Royale game. They made it popular. The Calling was the first. It was the original. Then PUBG came out, and that made it popular. And then Fortnite came out, and Fortnite just, just exploded in popularity. So... Would a Star Wars free-to-play Battle Royale game do well? I think so. I think so. Free-to-play? Yes. Paid? No. I don't think a paid 
game like that would would do well. And after everything that's happened with Battlefront 2, I think a going free to play and keeping the microtransactions with you know just cosmetic items and continuing to roll out that new content to keep the gamers in the game I think would be a good choice. So we'll know in the near future whether Battlefront 2 actually goes free to play. I think that's in the game's future as well. There are other people who say that they believe that they were referring to Battlefront 2. That's the uh, other FPS genre game besides Battlefield that EA really has. I think it would be a smart move and I think it would do very well and it would bring more players back into the game. If it didn't have that $60 price tag on top of the microtransactions, I think that would actually do a very good job for EA. I think it will also help to mend a few bridges if the game were more accessible to people without having to pay full price for it. I know that people who have already invested money into the game, $60, wouldn't like wouldn't like it, but I said, as I said, there have been paid games that went free to play before. So this isn't something that would create a precedent. Oh, so, I've been Mike the Zorch. This is Callie the Baby. And you've been watching Gamers Bay News.